Hey guys, you know what? This is a type of line that not many people in the US have seen because Sunline is an extremely popular product in Japan. This one here is something new. This is was made for pluggers, guys who like to go for GT and other uh, fish from the boat or along the shoreline. So what happens if you're using 40 pound baseline and you wanted to up your, your leader line, you don't have to um, cut the line and tie on a swivel. You just will immediately bring up your line strength to what you need it. So if you're using like 40 pound or 60 pound main line, um, this will, um, you just have to uh, tie it on, like maybe use a double uni is what I normally do, but tie it on and you can bring it up to 100 pound leader line for your plugs. Now, I can see a lot of benefits to this, like uh, going off the clip, um, uh, plugging off the clips, going up to buoys, fads on your boat for tunas, but the guys that go for the clip, going for the GTs, that's the main battle. Now, this is something that was um, basically brought in uh, to Hawaii at the Zuo Brothers show a couple months ago, and the guys from Japan are looking to find people who are interested in it and it's slowly beginning to gain popularity and I can see why because I'm going to try some of this myself. This was given to me uh, by High Fish Gear Hawaii down in Ever Beach um, due to the uh, uh, Newton Brothers and I'm going to try some of this stuff. Um, the best way to, um, to have an honest opinion about a product is to try it, right? So if you look carefully at the stats here, I know a lot of this is in Japanese, but if you look carefully, the, uh, the 100 pound to 40 pound, the diameter is 0 0.91, and that's basically 0 0.52 diameter. And um, that is gonna be the one I'm probably gonna use the most. The other one here is uh, 100 pound to 60 pound, diameter is 0 0.91 to 0 0.62 where the other ones was, was to 0 0.52. So we have two sets here, and I think these will be the more popular sizes. So this this is the introduction. Um, I know it sounds like a commercial, but um, High Fish Gear down at Ever Beach is carrying this, and from what I understand, um, Brian's Fishing Supply will also be carrying this as well. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm gonna sound like a commercial today, but uh, this was one of the lines that was featured at the Zua Brothers show a couple months ago here in Honolulu, Hawaii. Um, Sunline is a very, very popular type of line, fishing line from Japan. And as you know, the guys in Japan, they're, they're, they're the best at extruding line. Now this one here, you're not gonna find much on the internet at all. This is something that's just starting here in Hawaii. It's gonna, um, this one here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spool it on my reel today. When I went to go visit uh, the my friends, the Newton Brothers over at Ever Beach, they own a shop there. And they, he, and um, one of the brothers came up to me, Thomas, and he said, hey, Chris, you do any ultralight? You gotta try this. So I'm gonna try this, because I told him I would. And I got a brand new reel in the mail from Davey over at Okuma as is the new um, Samar HD, which won um, uh, some awards last year. And it's, it's a, I, I tell you, when I read the stats on it, I was quite impressed. Um, when you put the handles, like, you know, the handles, are rock, like the rocker arms into the reel here, it doesn't go through the whole thing and tie off in the back. It actually gets a lot of power by screwing directly into the reel itself, into the internal mechanism. That this is a, different way of transferring power and I'm very impressed with this reel so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine that with this one here this is only going to be four pound test line so it's not going to be a lot of power needed because I'm going to be using for ultralight but um, I'm going to be getting some the larger models of, of this shortly here but for now I'm going to use this just the thousand size here as my ultralight reel so for, for you, those of you that um, are not un quite understand what I'm saying, this is gonna be from ultralight um, spinning reel, which is gonna be this one here. And this is gonna be targeting smaller fish and um, you can go for the larger fish too, just for the fun of it. 
I'm going to be targeting smaller fish, basically um, scads along the shoreline day as well as night. So the four pound test line here um, will be quite invisible in the water. But for the leader line, this is also by Sunline, also a Signion line like this brand is, okay? So you got, uh, you see, we got the four here and the other one's six. So, you know, if you want to go four to four, because this is a leader line, this one here, it's going to be stiffer, okay? So it's okay to go four to four. Um, you may want to go just with the main line directly to your hook, but just remember that line is going to be pretty soft and more apt to get cut. Whereas this one here is a harder line, less apt to be cut. Um, you can use a swivel. Uh, just remember, you have to make your leaders long. Like if you're going for Hallelu, which is our local type of scad species, you're going to have to make those leaders at a minimum 15 feet. And I usually do 18 to uh, 20 feet myself. So bear that in mind. But you can also go up to six pounds. And that way um, you reduce the cutting, but it'll also drop your catch rate because at the little thicker line, the fish, I would say normally the the smaller ones will and the bigger ones won't. But when you, if you fish on to like late afternoon, early evening time, won't matter because um, the light starts getting a little bit dim and they're, they're gonna they're gonna hit either one. So it's up to you which one you want. This is something, like I said, that hasn't been seen because it just came out. Um, Sunline representatives came down to the show to find some dealers that wanted to try this. So uh, the Newton brothers over at High Fish Gear Hawaii said, hey, we'll give it a try. So they're, they're, they have it on their website. So you may want to go to High Fish Gear um, and check them out. I'm going to try this on for myself. And I also heard that uh, Brian's Fishing Supply, also here in Honolulu, Honolulu, Hawaii, will also be carrying this brand as well. And if you do use both, because I'm going to try using both right now, um, I find that I, I've always liked the uni to uni. You know, if I'm going to combine two uh, different types of line with, uh, with a very small knot that can go through the small guides of a braided uh, uh um, braided guide on a fishing rod that is the uni to uni so give it a try because i will uh, just a little info on this as you know the japanese are the best at extruding line so trust me you will have a good product from from this and what they have uh, learned to do is fill in the microscopic gaps that the that the pores that are in the line and fill it with resin so during the uh, extrusion process, this line is going to be very solid, even though it's going to be a smaller diameter. So um, this here, this is called fluorocarbon line, which means it's, it's not like monofilament. It will not stretch like mono. It's a stiffer line and it's going to be thinner, di uh, thinner diameter. So the four pound class here for a small um, um, leader line material like this, these come in 30 meters which is uh, 33 yards and the diameter is 0 0.16 millimeters now on the six pound test line the six pound class uh, that's also going to be in 30 uh, meters which is 33 yards and diameter is 0 0.2 millimeters so not much difference between the two but you know i i don't know much about it because this is brand new for the uh for hawaii it's also brand new for the u.s from what i understand um if you was to go look out right now on the internet or you know like on youtube there is nothing on this so what i'm giving you is the information that came from the representatives